I've just brewed up, got my tea. Now I'm going to have some spruce needle training tea in a bit. Got my spruce needles here. You have to be careful when using spruce because the shape and the, shape and the layout of the needles is very similar to you. But you needles, if you look carefully, you'll see the potential berries underneath the stalks and also they are darker leaves. Um, well, I'm here in Robin Gatewood today. I've had a walk around. It's beautiful. It's a bit chilly, a bit chilly for a May, but that's it. Um, there'll be another piece in a minute on the uh, on what I'm cooking for my dinner. I'm trying out a Trangia burner on my honey stove today, just because obviously if I decide to go to the far north of Scotland, places where there are no trees, it's very difficult to get a fire going unless you dig for peat. Um, there you go. And I've just got to finish this up at home. I've made myself a small butter knife and some larch that's predominant around here. Today's wild food, nettle tops. Hmm, they're well, quite tasty. Well, there's my little tran my little stove, my honey stone. And I'm trialling it with the Trangia burner today. I've not done this because um, sometimes I will be up on the moors and there is the general lack of firewood up now. Here we go. Today's culinary delight is some dried wild fungi, sunblush tomatoes and noodles with some stir-fried nettles and nettle tops. I will be doing a video on nettles very soon and all its many uses, not just with cordage and eating. There are many other uses besides. But Hello folks, spruce. Well just find this tree and go up, up, up into the canopy. There we go. So I suppose it's spruce needle tea. Hey guys. They find badger fur. There's badger sign. It means for us to come around here very early in the morning or late in the evening as the sun is on the horizon, maybe I could see some. But what a find! Well my friends, here we are. An unexpected find. I don't know whether you can see them crawling about, but I've discovered a wood ant's nest. Maybe later in the year when I have my tarp with me, I can maybe harvest a few pupae and eggs for a wild food lunch. These can be harvested normally twice a year. I should zoom out, there we go. We've got a fine looking nest. Well, a dead tree and some black fungi which I cannot quite identify. 